single line text justification. In our last lesson, we learned how to type some single line text. Well, this time, let's learn how to justify it in different ways. We'll go ahead and reactivate the single line text. And now we see we have to specify the first endpoint. If you come down here to the command line, we have a justify option. Let's go ahead and click on that. And now we have a lot of options to choose from. We have the left, the center, the right, a line, and many other ones. This little box kind of got in the way here. But for now, we were going to click right anyways. And once we do so, now AutoCAD is asking us for the right endpoint of the text baseline. We'll go ahead and select here, give it a height. We will give it an angle of zero, press enter, and then we'll go ahead and start typing. Enter, enter. And there you go. This is a rectangle. Let's explore some more options. We'll go ahead and push the space bar to relaunch it. And now you notice that AutoCAD is asking us to specify the right endpoint once again. This time, let's try something a little bit different than the right endpoint. I'll go ahead and right click to bring up a menu. I'll select Justify. And now I have all these options to choose from. This time, we'll go ahead and try Middle. It says specify the middle point of the text. I'll go ahead and click here, the midpoint of this line. Now I have to specify the height. I'll make this very small. And now I have to specify the rotation. I'll go ahead and click this endpoint here. And now I'll begin to type. Push enter, enter, and there you go. The point that I picked the midpoint of this line is now the midpoint of this line of text. Let's try one more. But first, I'll go ahead and grab this rectangle, grab the grip, and move it out of the way. I'll grab this text here too, and go ahead and move that out of the way. Hit escape to deselect. And now I want to try one more. Let's go ahead and activate the single line text command. AutoCAD is asking for the middle point, but this time I want to try something different. So I'll right click, pick on justify, and I'm going to try fit. Now I say specify the first endpoint. I'll use this point here. I'll specify the second endpoint over here at this endpoint of this line. I'll give it a height. And finally, I'll begin the text. And there you go. Enter, enter. The fit, justify, went ahead and used my first endpoint and the second endpoint to create a type of bounding line for this text to fit inside of. But again, if I select this text, it is one object. The way I grab the grip is kind of rotating it. And this object here is another line of text. I'll go ahead and hit escape to deselect it. Let's try another one. I'll go ahead and activate the command. Right click and go to justify. And this time I'm going to use the top right. I'll go ahead and click once to specify the top right point. Give it a height again. I'll go ahead and give it a rotation. I'll just type in zero into the command line. And I'll go ahead and begin typing. And press enter. Enter. There are 15 ways to justify your text, including the fit. By using the justify as well as various object snaps, you can align your text in various ways. And this becomes very helpful and very useful. 
when you deal with very complex designs or you need to fit text in a really tight spot. I'll go ahead and delete these. 